guys welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video I will be sharing with you guys 10 perfumes in my perfume collection these are perfumes that men love on women these are tried and tested but before I dive into this video I want you guys to do me a little favor click the subscribe button it's free it's literally free guys click the subscribe button it helps my visibility on youtube i learn from you you learn from me we get to be friends like, what more could be better than that so i will dive into this video but first i want you guys to comment down below what perfume you reach for and you know that this is going to grab some attention this is going to be a man killer kind of perfume comment that perfume down below i'm really interested to know so I'll be starting with Bubblegum by Moschino. This is so cute. Look at the bottle. The bottle and the perfume are not very similar. You're going to think this is juvenile, childish, but no. This perfume opens up like a bubblegum. If you're familiar with this bubblegum called Oba Baba, the strawberry one, it smells like this in the opening. But when this perfume dries down, it's fruity, it's floral, it literally changes. That bubblegummy smell, I only smelt it for about 10 minutes and the perfume changed. Now, the only thing about this perfume is it's not long lasting. This lasted on my skin for about three hours that I could, I could smell it quite strongly on myself but it faded away it's still kind of there it becomes like a very very subtle skin scent um but it's a beautiful perfume i would definitely recommend this as a blind buy it was only about 30 something pounds for a 30 ml bottle i got mine from the perfume shop they were doing sales so if you are here in the uk head over to the perfume shop and get this perfume it's floral it's fruity it's got some cinnamon in here bitter orange peach blossom it also has some ginger notes i believe which i didn't quite smell in this perfume it also has bulgarian rose and musk so those are the notes that i can remember on the top of my head that this perfume has it really is a beautiful one to have in your collection if you like that girly summery spring kind of perfume this is the one for you so the next perfume is decadence by mark jacobs i decluttered this perfume a few months ago but i didn't quite sell it i was going to sell it i was actually getting offers to sell this perfume but for some reason i just couldn't let go because it does attract attention it does have that very strong plum and saffron opening this perfume lasts for a very long time it does exude a kind of sexiness that i really really enjoy this to me is like a clubbing clubbing kind of perfume fruity it's aromatic it's a bit sour and sweet at the same time i love it this will last on you for a long time it's also a compliment getter so this is decadence by mark jacobs this next perfume is not gonna come as a surprise to anyone because if you own this perfume you know that men will flock around you wearing this perfume my husband loves it when i sprayed it on he didn't know what it was but he absolutely loved it and the perfume is scandal by night by jean paul gautier this is orange blossom honey tuberose kind of perfume this is so syrupy thick and creamy it's very very sexy it also has cherry tonka bean vanilla patchouli it has all the notes that i personally love in a fragrance this is a gourmand perfume with an edgy vibe that i absolutely adore there are times where i love these the original scandal because this one is the flanker and there are times that i love this one although i think this one is slightly more potent and it's more long lasting in my opinion so i don't know right now i'm feeling the night version but sometimes i'm just like just give me the original scandal do you need both in your collection yes if you're like me yes you need both in your collection so this is scandal by night so the next perfume here is love don't be shy by killian this would make the list because this perfume gets me a lot of compliments i get stopped um and i'm asked what is it that i'm wearing this is 
honeysuckle i believe this also has orange blossom this has marshmallow it has like a sugary vibe to it it also has jasmine this perfume is very sweet if you're not somebody that's into sweet perfumes this is probably not for you but it's just one that you just have to try before i would have recommended this as a blind buy but not anymore ever since i began to review this perfume there are quite a lot of people that actually don't like this perfume which i find very strange but i get it perfumes are subjective it's not for everybody but this one if you're a gourmand lover you are going to love this perfume it's tried and tested i think it's beautiful for any woman this i wouldn't say it's unisex it has a very feminine vi vibe to me I prefer this more in the autumn winter months but when it's cooler in the evening you can also wear this and it's perfect for date night so this is love by Killian the next perfume is roses musk by Montal I've been speaking about this perfume quite a lot in my most recent videos if you've been watching all my videos I'm sorry this perfume is out again but I cannot not put this perfume on the list because it definitely gets a lot of compliments men love this perfume so much i did a poll quite a while ago on my instagram it was a very long time ago and i remember this was mentioned a lot of times together with la vie abel now la vie abel is not on this list and la vie abel will not make any of my list because i don't like that perfume i think if you like that perfume my apologies just keep wearing it if you like it Go for it but for me la via bell is boring i don't i don't get that hype i don't understand why people like it as i said if you like the perfume keep wearing it but it's a perfume that i don't get why men like it maybe it's the orange blossom i don't know anyway roses mask is roses it's musky it's floral it's sexy and it will stay on your clothing for a very long time i'm talking days here if you love your roses this the rose in here doesn't smell like real rose it smells very artif artificial but it smells amazing so if you like roses and you like musk and you are a fan of montau then you have to check this perfume out so this is roses musk by montau this next perfume has got me stopped many many times on the street by men especially and women too this perfume has got me sniffed on the train on my way to work this is a perfume that i didn't like at the beginning but now i am absolutely obsessed with it and it's alien alien i don't even need to say much about this perfume you guys know it's heavy on jasmine on amber it's a very strong white floral perfume i just think it's magical full of mystery this perfume is so different and it's really sad that it's been reformulated the reformulation is not amazing i don't get the longevity it doesn't quite smell the same i feel like the newer one has a medicinal touch to it which i don't like so as you guys can see i'm nearly out of this perfume and i won't be using it very um, very much to me this is an all year round although i wouldn't wear this when it's too too hot like heated hot but i would wear this all year round i would wear this out to an occasion on a daily basis to a date night and it's amazing the next perfume that i'm going for on this list is narciso Poudre. if you are a lover of musk this is the perfume for you. I actually didn't realize this perfume had rose in it. But I just, I don't know. I don't get, I don't smell the rose. But there is rose in this perfume. It also has orange blossom and I think it's amazing. This perfume during lockdown would just bring happiness out of me. I wear this small to bed and it smells amazing on my pillow in the morning. This is a very long lasting perfume it's my one of my husband's favorite perfume on me narciso poudre is one of the most beautiful musky scents that i have in my collection if you don't have this go and get your nose on it it's absolutely amazing so the next perfume here is greenwich village by bond number no. nine 
I cannot get enough of this perfume. This does give me the Baccarat Rouge vibe, but it's fresher and it smells more like a perfume. It has water lily, um, praline, oak moss, jasmine. I find it to be sweet, musky, a little bit tropical. I just love this perfume a lot. This is a beast mode perfume. You wouldn't think so by just smelling it, but when you spray it onto yourself, you realize how much it sticks onto your skin. This lasts on my skin for a very long time. I'm talking six, seven, eight hours. It's just there. This one, my husband always requests for it. Like, what are you wearing today? Wear Greenwich Village. He loves this on me. I've gotten loads of compliments wearing this perfume. I probably get more compliments on this perfume than I do Baccarat Rouge. Maybe it's because Baccarat is very common like it's weird for a niche perfume baccara is actually very common a lot of people have it and obviously there's loads of flankers not flankers there's loads of copies of um, baccara but this one is different it's beautiful i definitely recommend this and i think it's a little bit more classy and it's amazing so this is greenwich village by bond number no. nine delina exclusive is next on this list this perfume is rose, it's oud, it has incense, it's got vanilla. It is my favorite Delina. I'm still going to get all three Delinas. I think I'm going to give the original Delina another try because I keep seeing reviews about it and I just feel like maybe the times that I've tried it, maybe it just didn't work then. Now that shops are reopening in the UK tomorrow, by the time you guys see this video, I will be out shopping i will be out fragrance shopping because shops open here um on the 12th of april and i'm excited so i'm definitely gonna go and smell delina again if i love it or if i at least like it a lot then i'll get it somebody who has all three perfumes delina exclusive um delina and the new floral delina i forgot the name but somebody said if you mix delina and delina exclusive you get something incredible now i can't remember who i watched that said that i'm gonna get delina at some point and i'm gonna try and use them together even if i don't love delina i think i might just get to like it i'll let you guys know what i think next time i try delina so this is delina exclusives the compliment getter is the perfume that i would wear to a special occasion but the last but not least perfume on my list guys Oh, this perfume is new to my collection, but it's been on my wish list for about a year now and I had to get it. So it's either this perfume but I'm about to show you or Zerjov's Lyra. Now, the only reason I didn't get Zerjov is because I'm bitter. Yes, I'm bitter because the last time I went to Zerjov in Harrods, this was back mid-2020. The way they treated me was so rubbish, like almost like they think that I would not be able to afford the perfume. But I decided to go to Killian where I got the best service and I went into Penhaligons and I bought loads of perfumes. Walk right past them again to let them see that I could have bought your perfumes but your service was so crap, was so rubbish that I was just like, nope, I'm not getting it. But I might just change my mind. Uh, maybe I'll go to Selfridges this time. If they have a Zerge of counter, maybe not Harrods. But anyway, the perfume that I went for instead of Zerge of Lyra is Nisha Ney's Annie. This perfume, I've only been using it for about three days. I sprayed it in the house. When I tell you took over the bedroom, it smells so amazing. And when you smell it, you wouldn't think that it's going to be quite strong but it is strong this lasts for a long long time the cap on this is super heavy this to sum it up is a very spicy vanilla perfume i'm going to do a full review of this perfume which is going to be coming up pretty soon i think it deserves its own video that's how wonderful i think this perfume is i'm so glad it's in my collection and it's amazing so far so good but look out for my review it's coming out pretty soon maybe in the next two to three videos i will showcase a full review of nishane's annie